Hello and welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode and in today's episode we do another article review and critique courtesy of the Mail Online and posted in the female section. The article was written by Molly Rose Pike and published on the 27th of May 2018 and let's go straight into the headline which reads A Quieter Weekend Mom. The Queen is joined at church in Balmoral by Prince Edward and granddaughter Lady Louise following last week's royal wedding celebrations. Wow, and um, I'm really hoping that the Queen has had a much quieter week and it's really good to see that she has travelled up to Balmoral and taking some well-deserved rest. So here we see um, a few very grainy photographs of the Queen in her car being driven to church. Let's read the rest of the article. The Queen, 92. Oh, can you hear the thunder? There's actually thunder and lightning where I am. Okay, so if you hear any rumbles and if you can hear the rain, it's actually thunder and lightning going on. So let's carry on anyway. The Queen, 92, is enjoying a few days in the Scottish sunshine in Balmoral. The monarch arrived for church this morning at Craffy Kirk in the Scottish Highlands, accompanied by Prince Edward and his daughter Lady Louise, 14. After seeing Prince Harry marry Meghan Markle amidst huge fanfare last weekend in Windsor, the Queen has travelled north for her summer break. Prince Philip, 96, didn't attend the Sunday morning service, but did make the royal wedding just six weeks after an operation on his hip. After the pomp and ceremony of last week's royal wedding, the Queen looked relaxed and rested as she arrived for church at Balmoral today. OK, so if the Queen has indeed started her summer holiday, she doesn't actually reside in Balmoral Castle until the very, very start of the actual summer. She actually resides on a property on the estate until then. Uh, but we will know when she does move into the castle because there will be a big pomp and fanfare at the gates to the castle. The 92-year-old, appearing radiant in a favourite bright turquoise wide-brimmed hat and matching tweed coat with pearl earrings, was joined by Prince Edward and his daughter Lady Louise. The Queen appeared to enjoy chatting to her 14-year-old granddaughter, who joined her on the back seat, while her youngest son sat in the front passenger seat of the royal car. And there we can just about make out the passengers in the car. There we have Lady Louise. Okay, so there we have Lady Louise sat next to the Queen. I've always said that Lady Louise looked like the Queen, resembled the Queen, but as she's getting older, I see the resemblance even more. It's actually quite striking. Let me know what you think. The royal family members were spotted on their way to and from nearby Craffy Kirk for the traditional Sunday service. Following Prince Harry's nuptials with Meghan Markle at St George's Chapel last weekend, the Queen has retreated away from the post-wedding spotlight to spend a few days in the Scottish sunshine. Well, there we go. I don't think it is actually the official start of her summer holidays. It could just be a few days away, which I think is more than likely. Prince Philip, 96, who attended the wedding of Harry and Meghan at St George's Chapel last Saturday, just six weeks after having a hip replacement operation, was not at the church service. The Queen spends her summer months at the private residence and is frequently joined by other members of the royal family. Craffy Church lies next door to Balmoral and the Queen is a regular presence at services during her annual holiday. And there we see another photo of the Queen sat next to Lady Louise Windsor. It's the second time the Queen has been spotted since the wedding of the year took place. Last Sunday, the monarch who regularly attends the Royal Chapel of All Saints in Windsor Great Park was seen travelling in a Range Rover past the entrance of Windsor Farm Shop. The Queen was later spotted being driven back to the castle soon after the morning service had finished, with her car sweeping into a side entrance onto the estate. OK, so there we have the article in its entirety. So it's just basically some lovely photographs of the Queen sat next to her granddaughter and of course Prince Edward um, going to church on Sunday. So I really hope that the Queen, whether she has began her summer holiday early or not, whether it's just a few days away, I hope she is truly relaxed and enjoys her time with her family. If you have enjoyed this video then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me, in a very thundery and lightning Shropshire, goodbye.